Hello everybody, welcome to our lesson. Today's topic is the magnetic field of a straight wire. This is the goal of the lesson. At the end of the lesson you will be able to explain Ersted experiment, use the first right hand rule and describe the magnetic field of a straight wire. In 1820, the physics professor in Denmark named Hans Christian Ersted is in the middle of a lecture and he is using a compass and an electric wire for a demonstration. He turns on the current that runs through the wire and he notices that the needle in the compass starts to move and when he turns the current off the needle goes back to where it was. Then he runs the current through the wire in opposite direction and sees the needle move the other way. What Ersted demonstrated that day was a fundamental discovery, the connection between electricity and the magnetism. And it changed the field of physics forever. Now when Ersted was doing his demonstration on that fateful day in 1820, he was using a regular compass magnet. But when he brought the magnet close to a wire carrying a current, the magnetic field from that current exerted a force on the needle, moving it to point in a different direction. Ersted had discovered one of the fundamental principles of electromagnetism. An electric current produces a magnetic field. After a few months of experimenting, Ersted figured out that when a current runs through a wire, the magnetic field that it produces surrounds the wire. Expressed with field lines, the magnetic field would appear as circles with the wire at their center. We said that Ersted did some experiments and pay attention to this demonstration. When a current passes through a wire as shown in picture, the compass will align in a circular pattern around the wire. It can be deduced that the magnetic field lines around the current carrying conductor form concentric circles with the wire at their center. And if the current was coming straight towards you, the field lines would be pointing counterclockwise. Now, there is an easy way to remember how the direction of electric current and the direction of the magnetic field it produces relate to each other. It's called the first right hand rule because there are actually three right hand rules. Just take your right hand and point your thumb in the direction of electric current. Now curl your fingers. The direction of your fingers are curling. That's the way the magnetic field lines are pointing. And likewise, if you know the direction of the magnetic field, you can use the rule to figure out the direction of the current in the wire. And we use the vector B to represent the magnetic field. The magnitude of the vector is the strength of the magnetic field and the direction of the vector is the field's direction. The magnetic field lines are directed perpendicular to the plane of the current. Therefore, the directions perpendicular to the page are indicated by symbols this and this. The direction into the page is represented by this symbol and the direction out of the page is represented by this symbol. Actually you can think of an arrow. And this is the side view of this picture. This is a top view. So there are many ways of representing fields. Experimentally, it's found that magnetic field strength at any point 
is directly proportional to the current flowing through the wire and inversely proportional to the distance from the wire. The magnetic field strength depends on current in the wire and distance from a wire. If current increases, magnetic strength also increases. If distance increases, magnetic field will decrease. And magnitude of the magnetic field at any point at a distance r from the wire is given by this equation. Pay attention to the picture. The magnetic field lines near the wire are closer together than those located farther away. Where the field is weaker as indicated in the picture. The magnetic field becomes stronger as the radial distance r decreases. So the field lines are closer together near the wire. And in this formula we know some unknown constant. The constant mu is known as the magnetic permeability of free space or vacuum and it has this value. And unit of the magnetic permeability is newtons per ampere square. Now, what's the physical meaning behind this constant? In electromagnetism, permeability is the measure of the resistance of a material against the formation of a magnetic field. The magnetic permeability of free space is a measure of the amount of resistance encountered when forming a magnetic field in a classical vacuum. So simply, this constant means the resistance to a magnetism of a vacuum. This is a resistance. Now this is the end of the lesson. If you like the video, please subscribe and share.